a hall. Yes. Thank you, Jean Luc. Yes. That was the leader of the local resistance. I talked to Jamal, and he uh, told me this is where the where they've been hanging out lately. And uh, I just had a little mini interview with him. And the resistance is going to give me my own tank. Yeah, apparently I don't need to buy it or nothing. All I need to do is have a place to store it. And uh, and uh, you know, I had to had to sign on the dotted line to be part of the resistance. But that's okay. If I'm going to be living in Poland with Grandpa's farm, I might as well uh, might as well enlist my services to defend the, the countryside that it's in, right? Yeah, might as well. I would, uh, I would do it if I wasn't in the U.S. and I had these problems. So. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, going to have to clean out the boxes and stuff out of my basement of my house. Because, uh, I've got a basement right here. I installed these, uh, they, they looks like manhole covers, but it's not. It's just one giant door that pops up. And I've got an underground garage right here. So uh, that's where I'm going to be storing this tank. I'm going to hide it, hide it right, right underneath my house so nobody knows I've got one. Yep. Right down there in my tank cave. Bat cave. I am Batman. No, I'm not Batman. I am Vern. I'm Grandpa's farm, but I'm going to have a tank. Viva la resistance! So, I said to leave the door open, and they're going to have to make some minor, minor modifications to my garage when uh, when they get here with it. So, it's uh, going to be interesting. I can't wait to see what they're going to give me. Hope it's a good one. Lots of armor. That would be, uh, that would be awesome. Seems I'm kind of new to the whole tank thing. Get all these guys back to work. And, uh, yeah, Jean-Luc, he said that uh, be sometime today they'd be dropping this thing off. I guess they don't, they don't mess around. They've lost a bunch of guys in the last couple incursions with these uh, Ukrainian rebels. And I guess they're just to really hurting for for backup. So apparently sometime sometime this afternoon they'll be dropping the tank off. And uh he said not not, not to go looking for the battles. There would be uh he would post a post a flyer on the church bulletin board. If you can see the church from here. Um yeah, right there, that spire right there. A church bulletin board. Apparently, that's the where they've been, been communicating with the uh, with the resistance. I guess they post a they have a bulletin board down there, kind of like uh, kind of like Grandpa's bulletin board, but but a lot bigger. Apparently, that one. If you see a red map on there, that's when uh, that's when our services are needed. But um. Hopefully I don't piss too many people off because I'm going to attack. When I get my tank, I'm going to attack. I'm not just going to, I'm not just going to sit here and wait for to de defend in the whole nine yards. If if they're, if they're within uh, if they're within shooting range, I'm going to attack these Ukrainian rebels. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not messing around anymore. Two or three times they've come down here. Two or three times they've messed up the local markets and screwed with the economy. Scared people. They killed one girl. Uh, no, not putting up with anymore. They're all doing good.
So I went ahead and I got a hold of Jamal. Jamal, he's gonna come down, he's gonna be my gunner. He's, uh, he's agreed to call me captain in the whole nine yards. He's gonna be my gunner. And, uh, got a couple other dedicated employees around here. I hate to use my employees, but I really don't trust anybody in town yet, so I'm gonna use some of my employees for my tank crew. Hopefully I don't get them killed. <laughs> Can't wait to get my tank. I'm excited actually. This is this is uh like better than getting a new tractor, I think. Pretty darn close. We're supposed to keep it on the down low. You know, they're all they're all for supporting the local uh, supporting the local resistance, but information is uh information is key I guess. The less they know the the less they can get out of the local yokels, I guess. So that and it's it's safer for the local people not to know any information on the location of resistance bases and resistance members and whatnot. So you know, it makes sense. Loose lips sink ships, right? Yep. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about doing any planting right off the bat. Um, let me turn the, the growth down. That we don't have the neighbors running away with crops on us, outgrowing us, outpacing us. Um, oh, let's. I just we're gonna bang out some harvest while we're waiting for my resistance tank to arrive. Let's take a peek, maybe it's here already. Nope. Nope. They said they would close the doors when they were done. So <clears throat> excuse me. Plug it away at the harvest here, I guess. Just gonna turn out some tunes and
Yeah, it's not even hitting them, but whatever. Okay. If we don't unload these guys, I'm gonna have to. Uh, <laughs> it's like Christmas morning. I'm gonna have to run back down to the house to see if the uh, see if the, the resistance has delivered my tank yet. <laughs> Can't wait. That's probably not there. I'm just getting a little overly excited here. but can you blame me? I mean, they're giving me a free tank. <laughs> Not every day somebody gives you a free tank. Not every day you get to go shoot people with it either. All right, here we go. These are all empty. Parked out of the way a little bit here. Uh, probably something like this. Yeah, he's out of the way over here. All right. You guys just keep jamming out. Harvesting. Let's bring you over. him started right down past boogeyman scary tree lane cut the branch off of that one so it's not scary no more Let's see maybe he'll make a full pass without stopping past this last super scary tree sweet
send this guy down this way because it looks like that guy's leaving some skips. Well, I was listening to the radio earlier, and uh, apparently, apparently, let's see, northwest. That northwest is north, northwest is that way. That's they were on the northwest, but the northeast side is apparently I'm guessing it'd be that valley over there. But that valley right up over there behind my tractor that I'm pointing at, right up behind the exhaust smoke there. I guess that's where the rebels have left been seen. There's six tanks spotted up over there about sixty miles outside of town. That was according to the last reports on the radio. And uh they're not attacking, but still, I mean, I know what they're doing. They're just, they're, in, it's an uh, intimidation tactic. They're just sitting there, and they're, they're trying to mess with our markets. The local agricultural markets is what they're doing. They're trying to get a better price, so when they import their stuff, they get a little bit more money, and they can buy more tanks, and they can cause more hell, and, and fund their, their little militia army they've got going on there, the Ukrainian rebels. And I'm not gonna have it no more. They, they're messing with my markets. They're messing with my lifestyle. And I don't care if uh, there's a if there's a call to attack or not. As soon as I get my tank, I plan on totally going up to that valley right up there. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go cause some mayhem. Uh, probably not the smartest tactic in the world. Probably gonna end up getting myself killed or getting my tank blown up. But hey, they gotta learn to. Leave this area of Poland the wall, man. Over Kavash is mine, man. This is my my city here. Over over Kribosh is mine. However you want to pronounce this town. Over Kribosh, over Kribosh, over Kribosh, over Kribosh. How there's like eight different ways to pronounce this town. <clears throat> I pronounce it over Kribosh, and that's. That's my town, and I'm going to defend it if I have to. So, shit's about to get real for some Ukrainian rebels. They're used to uh, they're used to the local militia only defending after an attack and whole nine yards. No, 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 no. They got a crazy American enlisted in this militia now. Shit just got real. <laughs> These guys jam out. Uh, they're not full. Let's go see if uh, let's go see if our new toy's been delivered yet. <laughs> uh, I doubt it. Oh, uh oh, uh oh! Doors are closed. Doors are closed. Well, it's here. I finally got my own tank. I actually thought it was a golf cart when I first got here, but nope, it's it's my own tank. And apparently the the militia has gone ahead and dug an entire gigantic underground resistance base underneath Grandpa's farm. Or maybe it's always been there. Who knows? I will. Uh, I'll have to inquire. See if maybe Grandpa fought in the resistance. This is a possibility. Maybe it was always here. But this is my tank. It's called a Thresher. And uh, apparently it's a mercenary tank. So this should be interesting. Looks like a little beast anyway. Um, hopefully uh, hopefully it deflects some armor. I'm hoping this tow hook on the front isn't a, a sign of needing it towed off battle because it's a pile of junk. But... Um, this is sweet, man. This is sweet. I've got my own underground 
resistance base under my house. Got my own tank. This is great. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go roust up some some Ukrainian rebels. Gonna go uh, harass them a little bit. See how they like it. See what happens. <laughs> well, here we go. We uh, made it a little bit farther south than we wanted to. We finally met up with the rest of the resistance right here. These guys are in a hurry to uh, get out here and squash some rebels. So, uh, there they are. This is a decent little tank. Handles great. Oh, we just lost a teammate on the flank. Gonna help these guys push up the middle. This isn't looking good. Team is melting. Oh, they got me. They got me. Not very good for the first exposition. Oh, lordy. Man, we had artillery? I didn't even know we had artillery. Oh, this guy's toast. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna head back to the garage, see if, uh, see if the resistance has got any more toys to play with. Let's see. Let's see what the resistance they got me in a in a heavy tank this time. Panzer B2. Yeah, she's a real old real old tank, but she's a goodie. Are we top tier? Yes, we are top. We are top dogs too. All right. She's an old junker, but I'm starting to think they're uh, they're testing me. They don't want to put me in any, any big $500,000 tanks until I can prove I can hold my own. Especially after that last battle, that was a disaster. I did okay, but boy, definitely outmatched, outgunned. Parties around the map, guys. Light them up. Artillery nail me. The medium tank is messing me up. Oh, 
they got me. You gotta be kidding me, man. Where's the team? Where's the team? What are you guys doing? Oh. Already sitting in a terrible spot. <laughs> Both of them are. You guys can't shoot him. If you can't see him, you can't shoot him. Oh lordy, the resistance, man. You guys got some shitty players or some shitty teammates here. Let's see what else they got to offer. This is more like it. This is a Thunderbolt, baby. Yeah, nice little medium tank. Even though we're severely outmatched by some tier eights, and I'm in a tier six, we're gonna do the best we can to support these guys. Um, Try not to die. I mean, I can't prove the resistance. I'm a, I'm a valuable asset if I'm dead. I keep dying way too fast in uh, some of these battles. Take that. Go back to your eight. Take that. move up on this guy even though I'm kind of exposed on this right flank I'm coming guys I'm coming Throw in one of the expensive bullets, the premium jobbies. Oh, I bounced off of them. Oh, wasted a round. Switch back to not so expensive stuff here. Hit a rock, I almost rolled it over. <laughs> it's not a tractor, come on. Oh, I bounced. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, I bounced. Oh, what in the world? Oh, they got him. Oh, no, no, I'm exposed. Not cool. Oh, I bounced that shot. <laughs> Wrecking him. Wallbrecker, huh? Boy, he's a beast, ain't he? Look at that thing. Ooh, I got him for 111. Ooh! <laughs> Great shot. Yeah, we vindicated. Yes. Take that, Ukrainian scum. I know it could, they couldn't last much longer. Whew. Good job. Oh, they even pay us for doing this. Sweet. I'll take $11,000. All right. Whew. I got to drive this thing all the way back to Grandpa's farm. Oh, man. <laughs> well, that was pretty in intense battles right there. Can't believe I got smoked those first two that fast, but hey, I'm kind of new to this tank business. Did pretty good in that third battle, though, I do say so myself. Uh, it looks like the helpers have been busy. 
You got some eggs loaded up and all sorts of all sorts of stuff going on here by the looks of things. They started a harvest. I gotta go get them crew. They didn't take the truck out yet. Must be must be they gave up for the night. I'll have to like, have milk loaded up. What happened with the prices while I was away? Did they uh we we held them off? <clears throat> Three straight battles. We held them off. We chased them up through the mountain pass. Let's see. Where's the where's the old mountain pass at? That's where the snow was. Right up there. That's where the snow battle was. So we fought them here when I died first. Right right up outside of town. That's where I died first. Right over there, about 15, 20 miles outside of town. Then we got them up into the mountain pass. And we pushed them up over through the mountain pass. And that's where we we finished them off over there. So. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the prices went up on some stuff. We'll show a confidence. Oh yeah, soybeans are. Let's see. Look at that at uh, Agrama. Uh, Forty-four fifty-nine. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, the price of eggs went up too. No wonder the eggs are loaded up. Forty-six thirty-five. Yeah. No wonder. Oh, price uh, price of milk. Yeah, that's not bad. Last I knew it was like uh, floating around eighteen hundred. Now it's at twenty twenty three. Yeah, that's not bad. It's worth selling. Sweet, sweet. Looks like it's money time. All right, get to bank out a little bit of a cash crop, and uh, I get to make money from my animals finally. Go sell some pigs too. I've noticed. Uh, I'm not. I'm. I, I can have three hundred pigs. But uh, I can't really, I can't really crank out enough feed right now with the with the land, the land that I have. So uh, in the next day or so, I might have to sell some pigs because I keep uh, like that that last whole whole uh, soybean harvest basically went to feed the pigs. And that's a that's a, I got to make some money off these guys, so I might have to trim the fat, so to speak, trim the be low fat bacon around here pretty soon but uh yeah i think i can afford to get rid of some some pigs finally maybe if i let's get, get about 10 more i'm gonna start selling them off in groups of 10 but um other than that i think i'm going to uh i'm think i'm just gonna start slamming up this harvest probably go grab something to eat i'm starving after that battle that was that was pretty intense that was <laughs> that was a lot of fun but uh, that's what we do here on Grandpa's Farm. Keeping it real, man. Keeping it real. But, uh, yeah, I think that'll be another episode. The harvest and the, the big cash payout for the eggs and the milk. And uh, I'll uh, I'll be back after I eat some dinner. But uh, I can't show you Grandma's secret recipe for dinner. So I'm going to have to call it quits for now. It's been real. It's been fun. Until next time, it's Burn 74. Saying sayonara from Grandpa's Farm. Have a good time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share and like.